Our last application for chapter 6 allows us to assess normality. The idea here is we can determine if the set of data that we're dealing with is normally distributed. That's exceedingly useful. So we're going to take a look at two examples. First, let's take a look at that blowhole data. So I'm going to copy it. I'm then going to open a GeoGebra spreadsheet. So that means launching the GeoGebra web page, going down to view, turning on spreadsheet, turning off graphics and algebra, and then pasting in that data. Once I've got that, I'll select it, and then I'll go into one variable analysis, and I'll get a histogram. Now, this histogram looks pretty symmetric, uh, as much, almost as much data on one side as the other. We can look at several histograms, and certainly so far it looks pretty uh, much like a normal distribution maybe a little bit less so now, almost looks binomial, uh, bimodal I mean, and still looks a little bimodal, um, hard to tell. This is not how we determine if data is normally distributed. One of the things we do need to check for is outliers, and the best way to do that with this application is with a box plot. Now, make sure you've got outliers selected. So if you click on the options, make sure that the box to show outliers is selected. So we've got our box plot. There are no outliers here. So that's another indication. The first, of course, was the histogram. It looked relatively normally distributed, like a bell curve. Here's a box plot, no outliers. But the way that we're going to actually determine this is through a normal quantile plot. And what we see here is pretty much all of the data lying on this line. This is a way of looking at that data in a way to see if it's normally distributed. And this data clusters very close to that line. We can conclude that the data for the blowhole in Hawaii is normally distributed. Now our next data set is the IQ scores, so let's copy them and go back in. We can paste them into another column if we want to. We can close this graph. Now let's select column B and let's do one variable analysis on it. There's the normal quantile plot and it is nowhere close to a line. That looks like it's almost got a cubic shape to it. So certainly not um, a normal distribution, but let's go through and convince ourselves of this. If we look at a histogram, we can see that it is clearly skewed to the right, almost uh, uh, very dramatically so, um, and uh, clearly not normally distributed. If we look at a box plot, it looks like we've got uh, the data that we'd expect. If we make sure those outliers are shown, um, it looks like there are no outliers, that's useful information, but the quantile plot clinches it. This data is not normally distributed.